Former Russian President Dmitry Medvedev has made the bold claim that Western weapons were being used by Hamas against Israel, and of course, Ukraine is to blame. He added that missiles, tanks, and even planes from Ukraine could soon be appearing on the black market and in hotspots around the world. The third president of Russia and the deputy chair of the Security Council of the Russian Federation did not present any evidence to support his claims. So what's going on? Well, according to Gur, Ukraine's main intelligence agency, this is yet another Russian disinformation campaign aimed at discrediting Ukraine. My name is Anya Korzun. I'm a journalist at Kiev Post. Subscribe to our channel for regular updates, explainers and exclusive interviews. So, let's take a look at what we know so far. Almost as soon as the violence erupted in Israel and Gaza over the weekend, Western analysts warned that Russia would seek to take advantage of the situation. In its daily assessment on Saturday, the Institute for the Study of War wrote that the Kremlin would exploit the Hamas attacks in Israel to advance several information operations intended to reduce US and Western support and attention to Ukraine. One of the main lines of attack that seems to have gained prominence is the claim that Western-supplied weapons given to Ukraine have been handed by Kiev directly to Hamas. In a post on X on Monday, former Russian President Medvedev said, well, NATO buddies, you've really got it, haven't you? The weapons handed to the Nazi regime in Ukraine are now being actively used against Israel. So what is he referring to? It's not absolutely clear. But the only evidence presented by anyone so far has been a dubious 12-second clip circulating on social media claiming to show a Hamas fighter thanking Ukraine for weapons. And it's not exactly definitive. It features an unknown man speaking in an unknown location, saying in Arabic, thanks to the Ukrainian authorities, we will use this against your enemies. Curiously, a Kiev Post analysis of the video determined the man is not a native Arabic speaker, and there is a definite accent to his voice. Regardless, this didn't stop a number of high-profile politicians, including Medvedev and the controversial U.S. lawmaker and notable conspiracy theorist Republican Marjorie Taylor Greene from repeating the claims. But here is the twist. Just three hours before Medvedev's post on X, Ukraine's intelligence services made the following announcement. Gore informs that the Russian army has already handed over to Hamas terrorists trophy weapons manufactured in USA and EU, captured during the hostilities in Ukraine. The next step, Gur said, will be accusations from Russia that Ukraine is selling Western weapons to terrorists on a regular basis. Gur added, this provocation by the enemy is aimed at discrediting the armed forces of Ukraine and the complete cessation of military aid to our country from Western partners. What's more, Israeli officials have also dismissed Russia's claims. In an interview on Monday, Kiev Post asked Israel's ambassador to Ukraine, Michael Brodsky, if there was any truth to the accusations. He replied, we have no confirmation of this. So, are there any other Russian disinfo ops we should be aware of? According to the ISW, yes. And once again, they feature Medvedev and another colorful social media post. This time, Medvedev is targeting the US and displaying quite an astute awareness of internal American friction points. Medvedev said that instead of concentrating on ending the war in the Middle East, the US, who he described as morons, has instead been interfering and providing the neo-Nazis with full-scale aid and pitting Russia and Ukraine against each other. He concluded, what can stop America's manic obsession to incite conflicts all over the planet? Looks like nothing short of a civil war on the US territory. This is unlikely to be the last we're here from Medvedev, so stay tuned for more updates and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.